Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj. No nonsense strength training. In this video, I have one 60 kg squat, a set of five. As you know that I have been on my road back to 200 kg, and so far the journey is going well. I have started at I started at 140, took a jump of 150, and now 160. 155, the last workout did feel very challenging, but then but then for this one I was feeling very good, healthy, recovered, and everything else. And uh, amongst other things, there are a few things that have come to my notice when I was watching my videos. And that's the great thing about having your own videos. At first, they all started for me uh, to do my video analysis, which is the main purpose of it, way back in 2017, 18. And I also just started to know more about Instagram. So that was posting as well. Anyway, so in this video, uh, when I'm in my session, there are not many things that bothers me. They are there in the back of my mind. But when I watched the video, I realized there are some good things about this gym and the setup. This new gym in uh, uh, new gym to me, all for fitness in, in Brisbane. The lighting is really good. The rack is nicely in the corner for me to have my own sort of uh, workout space and I can put my camera on a good angle but the rack is could be better I suppose so this is the first time I am uh, unracking the bar and walking forwards which is new to me and I think it is affecting me a little bit so walking the bar forward is not a problem the problem is when you've done a heavy set walking it backwards not knowing where you're going and how to place it back on the pins my pins that i'm using here are uh, long safety arms which are very long so it is much much further away from the center of gravity of the squat rack and uh, when i'm well, when i'm doing it conventionally i'm facing the mirror something i'm not used to either <laughs> Most of my squats I've done in my garage gym, which is very basic. But I did consciously made a decision to, to suit this area a bit better so that I can shoot myself front on, which I haven't done much, record my videos facing to check out what my front looks like, what my face does. It is not a very good, uh, I suppose, angle to dis to actually how do I say this, to judge myself for my depth, which is very big thing for me in my squats. So when I'm uh, shooting my, recording my videos on profile site, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, it is very good for me uh, to see whether I reach the desired depth or not, not for the front. So that is, that is one thing. But I suppose there is some value from recording from the front because you are having to uh, see for yourself how it looks from the front. It has some uh, entertainment value to it. All right, here it is, 160 kg set of five. Wayne's popping out. I think from here, the depth looks good to me, to be honest. Actually, I can also see my backside in the mirror so that's not a bad thing of having a mirror i'm a slow squat writing i don't like to dive down fast and just try to bounce back with a kind of momentum I do it nice and slow so that's what i'm talking about just walking backwards with a heavy weight after a set of five i'm tired and to make sure that I have racked it properly uh, could be dangerous. So I will assess this and uh, find out for myself uh, at some point. I will go back to the convention of walking backwards when unracking, doing a set of five or whatever, and then walking forward to put the pin back. But here is a big difference uh, of the videos that I'm shooting these days to make you guys watch me struggle and suffer after my sets 
Believe me, I am so, so weak. So, it's, uh, I, I just, I don't want to use the words that I want to use for myself. Uh, 160 kg used to be my warm up. And now I'm just huffing and puffing. And it is good for me to my own reflection that, okay, this is not good. This is shit. I can do a set of 160 and should be able to just talk. Anyway, so that is how unconditioned I have been, uh, maybe deconditioned, I should say, maybe in the last six months. I can do a 160 kg like I always did, but I'm really tired. I'm really, really tired. And to the point that I cannot even think of doing 160 again. So I judge uh, my own strength in a few different standards. One of them is, can I do a set of five? for a certain weight, then take a break and do it again and do it three times. Three sets of five is my standard amongst other things. One of the standards I have or I've had for my clients was, and for me as well, that whatever body weight you are, are you able to squat at least close to double of your body weight for a set of three, four or five. So if you're 80 kgs, can you squat 160 kg set of three and five, three, four, or five. Similarly, same thing for deadlift as well. But that's just my own uh, uh, standard. So second set, 140 kg. As you can see on the side, there's a few um, um, messages, which is uh, uh, basically these videos were shot, uh, were broadcasted live. And when I do that, it is easier for me to come home and edit them accordingly. So there are some wonderful people who some, every now and then they comment and my family members, my friends. So it's good to have them engaged. Set of uh, five, 140 kg, I think depth is good. There's a bit of a shift of the knee. Uh, it's almost, a, it's not a butt wink, but I, it, that's one thing which has been highlighted for me. And that's better, knees out, uh, is how much of shift forward does happen. And I may not know this if I'm shooting from the back. So there's always some good point about different recording angles, I suppose. I was pretty good. This 140 felt really nice. I could have gone for another set of 140, but I'm just, I'm just being safe. Uh, I have learned this uh, without making mistakes, to be honest. I'm old enough to now not make mistakes and just pace myself into my training. That's one thing has been a sign of maturity for myself uh, when I started to train in strength training 2017, 18 when started. Never was in a, I was in rush. That is just wonderful lesson that I learned. Take your time. Training does not mean rushed. It is a plan and careful approach to what you're going to do. So 120 kg felt pretty good. So yeah, guys, uh, thank you for uh, for watching. I have published a new video which shows you all my PRs in back squat, deadlift, and press. I will leave that link up the top, and you can watch that and see how heavy I have lifted in the past. Until next time, keep squatting, and have a good one.